In this tutorial, let's work on an exercise on Part Design Workbench. Let's go ahead and uh, open up a Part Design Workbench. And now, let's select the plane, the ZX plane, to create this base sketch. Firstly, I'll adjust all the toolbars and set up our workbench. As we can see here, this is the profile that we need to sketch first. Now I'll select the ZX plane and I'll start sketching. Firstly, we'll create a rectangle. So, as we can see, the dimension is 75 by 60. We'll exit the sketch and now we will do a pad. The thickness is 40 minus 25. So when we input that value, you could input the complete value as 40 minus 25 and Kitsia will calculate it for you. Now we need to do a pad on the bottom portion. So as you can see a particular portion is uh, extended outwards. So we need to create a profile for that. So let's go ahead and uh, select the surface of the part which we have created right now. We will use a rectangle and then constrain it with the edges of our uh, parent object. We will use a coincidence here and then give a thickness of 20 mm as you can see in the drawing. Now we need to use a profile command and do the the slot as you can see on the exercise file. Let's just go ahead and uh, sketch a profile and then you, we will use the trim to trim out the portion and then we will use the constraint command to constrain the sketch. So the length is 40 and that dimension here is 10 mm each on either sides but if I constrain the other side as I can show you it will be over constrained as you can see the sketch turns blue so let's delete that and go ahead and uh, dimension the height the height of it is 10 mm and then we will exit the sketch and do a pad the pad will be 25 mm as you can see on the image and now we need to use now we need to create a chamfer so let's just go ahead insert surface base feature and we have a chamfer you could also select it from the toolbar but my tool will my toolbar will be hidden somewhere over there so that's 15 and 15 each and now we need to input two holes so we will use uh, different techniques for the both the holes one we will use the pocket command by using the circle sketch so let's just go ahead and insert a circle here and then dimension that circle for dimensioning the circle it's 10 mm diameter and uh, the dimension the location of that circle is at uh, 30 mm and this dimension what you can see here is 12.5 before exiting the sketch let's dimension the circle here let's just go ahead and dimension the circle as 10 mm diameter so always make sure that the sketch color is green 
Now let's just go for pocket. Go for up to next and click on OK. And our first pocket will be done. Now let's create the next pocket by using the hole command. Firstly go for the surface that you want to do the hole. Select the hole command and click on the surface. And then use the position sketch in order to position the hole. And as you can see if your image or if your view is inverted, you can use the compass. Compass is seen on the right top side of your screen you could use the compass to rotate your view and place it accordingly now the next thing what you can do is as you can see a small star of white color is there that is the location of our hole dimension it by 20 mm as you can see here and then 30 mm so 30 mm is the horizontal dimension now let's just go ahead and exit the sketch and give an up to next for our depth of the hole and give a diameter of 20 mm as you can see in the image now our model is complete